Hey guys, Diane here, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review of Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi, so stick around and we'll get to it. Okay, so for a quick synopsis, this is a story about four uh, four kids that are 11 years old, and it it starts out when a carnival comes into town, and this is kind of a catalyst for all these crazy things that start to happen. And this is told between two separate timelines, when they're kids and when they're adults. And they're noticing some of the same things that happened to them when they were kids around their town, and it's starting to happen again. And it's very eerie, it's very strange, it's very weird, because it's... It's very unique. What's happening, what's going on is different. It's not something that happens very often, so it's standing out to them. And so they come together. They all go back to the hometown, and they're piecing together, like, um, is this the same person that kind of, that, you know, kind of victimized us when we were young? If so, how is he still doing it? Why, you know, there's just all these things that they need to figure out to try and help kids now and on the back of the book this is compared to it and this is actually one comparison that I could agree with this was very very similar along the same lines and you know if you've seen any of my other videos you already know that it is it is it for me <laughs> and this book was no different it was it was really good not to get ahead of myself but I really love this book um and the, the length of this book, it was about, it was 400 pages. I listened to it on Audible and it was very streamlined. It was very easy to listen to. There was always something, you know, going on. If there's one part that I wasn't super, super happy about, I mean, it was fine, but he's an alcoholic and he's always, they, it, they do talk about it a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to get, I'm about to get a drink. Like, um, so that was a part where I was like, okay, I mean, <laughs> I guess if, you know, he's an alcoholic, so he's always thinking about it, but I'm like, okay, we get it. Um, so that part, I was kind of like, okay, that was the only thing where I really remember thinking like, okay, move on. But as far as the pacing for the entire book, it was, it was super, you know, streamlined, like I said. Um, there were a few twists in this book. It's not super twisty. It's not, you know, you're, you're not going to get a fight club moment in this book, but there were some twists in it because you're going with, um, you know, you're going along with the, almost the investigation in some different aspects and you're figuring out like, what? So there are some interesting twists that I really enjoyed that I haven't, I didn't see coming. So this book, I just really enjoyed it. I really liked it. It was almost, it reminded me some, it reminded me a lot of The Outsider by Stephen King as well as It by Stephen King. And those are both kind of similar they're preying on children as usual and um you're trying to piece together all this evidence that's pretty obvious but there's something off there's something missing there's something ominous you can tell there's something weird going on in the background but you can't put your finger on it and that's one of the most um likable I guess plot lines for me because I want it I want something to be wrong but not real like I don't really know what it is though I don't want it to be so obvious like um so that's why I liked I mean it did remind me of the outsider and it and it was just <laughs> this book was really good there were some really good the characters were really likable I felt like they all worked together really well it was really cohesive like their their group that they had their brother Denny he's Oh my gosh, he was just the sweetest guy. I'm like, uh, if you read The Stand by um, Stephen King and you know Tom Cullen, I, I wasn't sure if there would ever be another character that lovable, but he did it in this book. Denise, just beyond lovable and just so sweet. So I really enjoyed that aspect of the book. I would probably recommend this to really anybody. This was just really easy. I mean, there's some really dark parts in this book. It got dark. I mean, it was, it was scattered, but towards the end, I was like, dang, like, okay. But this book was really good. I would probably give this a nine out of 10. I do. I really enjoyed it. I, I had kind of heard about Black Mouth and I, I love Ronald Malfi. I've read Bone White, which I absolutely adored. I read uh, Come With Me, which was really good. So he's definitely one of the authors that I'm really going to be on the lookout for because his books are so, they're just so streamlined. They're so easy and not easy as in like, like, oh, not like Riley Sager easy, like, like, I don't know, <laughs> it's just easy, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's an enjoyable, 
complicated but not too complicated like I don't want to have to like take notes and be like whose name was that you know what who? I mean I don't read a lot of books like that anyway but you know if I did I wouldn't enjoy it so um but yeah this was just a really good book I definitely recommend it to anybody um that is in this genre because it was just I really enjoyed it like I said a nine out of ten um if you've read this book let me know how you liked it or you didn't like it if you didn't like it I would be pretty surprised I'd be pretty shocked if someone this is probably going to be um, a pretty popular book just because, like I said, I don't really see many flaws in it. So, but if you felt like that you, you didn't like it, you know, let me know in the comments. I love to discuss books. So, um, but if you, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.